Hashfler. Thank you and goodbye. Dave Tech here with an update on my Hashfler Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin cloud mining folks. For most of you that know, I started with uh, Hashfler back in November of 2017 before the big bull run. And, ha and I think I got in when it was about just under $6,000 for Bitcoin. Seemed like a good idea. These guys run the hardware, big ant miners. They're noisy as heck. Believe me, I have one someone donated to me. Um, they use an enormous amount of electricity. Basically, what happened was I signed up for it. It was a pretty good deal. I told some family members about it. They also, you know, threw some, some money in what would, would be a fair, fair amount of money for pretty much all of us working people. Uh, I kind of feel bad because most of us really didn't make very much out of it, but we did. So I want to thank Hashflare. I've done a few other videos over the course of the year. I've had tech support escalations with them. They've always been prompt and professional dancer. They went through some real growing pains in December and January when it was insanely busy and Bitcoin 17, 18,000 going up. I invested in November. I was making great profits. They slowly, slowly went down over the course of December and January, and that had nothing to do with hash flare. That was to do with the uh, difficulty. So for those that don't know, what happens is the difficulty level on Bitcoin mining increases as the number of miners come online. And thus, you're still mining with the same amount of power, but you're making less profit from it. A lot of people on Hash, doing hash flare YouTube videos, shall we say, we're making a lot of money because they're having thousands or, in many cases, thousands of people signing up under their account and getting the, the bonus that hash flare paid. But I don't want to digress to that. I got to say that every single, and I've had quite a few tech support issues because I handled my wife's account and I handled my, one of my niece's accounts. And every time I've had an escalation, they've been very prompt as prompt as they could be expected to be. I've always had an answer in less than 72 hours from them. So here we are, February 2019. Been in a bear market basically since, I would say, April. So I, I think we're going to see Bitcoin bounce again, bounce up. And that's my belief, which is why I keep on mining, and many others do too. In fact, hash flares actually kept their doors open all this time. And they're probably mining at a loss, like most companies are right now. Because I can tell you, well, you can watch my graphic up, my GPU video updates if you want. Mainly it's for miners and techie types, but you'll see that it's just not real profitable and it's a great deal of work, not to mention heat and electricity and bills you got to pay to keep it going. You're lucky if you break even, if you're cashing it in and breaking even, and what would the point be in that? So most of us are hodling it or holding on to it for dear life. But back to hash flare. Nothing but professional, and they taught me a few things about myself. I got greedy. You know, in December, I made pretty good profits, and had I taken some of those profits out, I maybe reinvested more to get more hash rate, but instead I was looking at getting faster and faster and faster hash rates, and thus more and more income per month. But, I didn't, you know, I wasn't thinking about the difficulty curve, which was also going up exponentially because so many people were coming into the space. They went from, I think, 300,000 uh, subscribers to over 1.6 million at one point. I mean, that's... A pretty that's just them worldwide if you look at the bitcoin difficulty chart it would just you know skyrocketed and that really hit in around christmas and january and stuff 2017 and of course then the price started to dump after those futures came out but i don't want to digress on futures i really still think that that futures were not a good thing for the bitcoin space but long term i think bitcoin's gonna really go again so Hashflare, hand it to you. You guys are probably running at a loss. You've been nothing but professional. My contracts all came to an end January 31st. I contacted them about uh, Saturday or Sunday. I sent them an email. said, I can't get it out because I only have .007. In fact, I have .007238 Satoshis in there, Bitcoin, which works out to about 25 bucks United States money. And they answered me. Within three days, they sent me a link, said, oh, just click here and you'll, you'll be able to take it out. And, I, and, I, and I, of course, the blockchain system itself gave me a transaction fee. I think it was like 29 cents. And I had my Satoshis in my wallet, well, on the exchange wallet, which I have out of country, um, in less than 10 minutes. So thank you. Thank you, Hashflare, for being honest and for teaching me about myself. My own greed got in the way, as I think it did to many. And once again, mistake. I learned from it. 
Not really. I think it was a good investment. It was a sound investment, and it could have gone either way. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for teaching me about FOMO, which is fear of missing out. I think a lot of us kept reinvesting our money. I lost, like I said, thousands, but lesson learned. And more importantly, they're still in business. So before I close out the video, there was another company I invested in called Genesis Mining. And I had done my homework on these guys in Estonia. Great bunch of techs as far as I'm concerned. And the one in, in uh, Iceland, which is Genesis, and was supposed to be far more reputable, actually had a waiting list. A waiting list of three, four months. You paid for the Bitcoin mining and you didn't even get it for three, four months, which would have started in May, which is when Bitcoin really sank. They closed up. Took off with my money. Well, I don't know if they closed up, but they canceled all the contracts and I lost everything. I only had a few hundred bucks in there, but I don't know what you guys, but a few hundred bucks means a lot to me. Anyway, again, they also taught me about myself. So I can't remember how many videos there were and how many comments there were about what rotten people they are and they're taking off with our money and they're hogging our Satoshis and they're crooks and everything else. And now I'm seeing it with Quadriga, aren't I? I get a very good impression of people. Now, I understand when it's your money, you're upset, but choose to be whatever you want in this life. I'm going to try and stay positive. And look, I was wrong about Genesis. I had a feeling. I just had this sinking feeling about Genesis anyway. And sure enough, I got screwed big time, as probably many of you did. Put your comments down below. But I got to hand it to Hashflare. I emailed them on the weekend. Can't get it out because it's a .01 minimum. And... They released my .007 Bitcoin. Now, that may not seem like a lot to some of you, but I got to tell you right now, with my GPU miners, I don't have very many. I, they're on video cards, and they're in machines that I have to use anyway for work mostly. And that would take me a long time to earn that. In fact, my wife has some too. So in my wife's account, that's probably about three months worth of Satoshi. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe two months anyway. So I got to hand it to these guys. They've been nothing but honest. And for all you people who left all those bad comments about how they were going to pack up and they were stealing our profits, and you just don't understand how it works. It's about the difficulty. Uh, yes, you buy hash rate, faster speeds, but the difficulty kept going up. So it really wasn't profitable for them or for us. But at least they stayed and their doors are still open to this day. So kudos to you. Thank you, Hashflare. Appreciate what you did for us. And I appreciate what you taught me about myself. Hope you guys did okay. If you haven't got your Satoshis out of there, write them. Be nice. Personally, I think we owe them all a thank you. Dave Tech out.